All right, let's go. Hello, hello guys. This is Fanny from the future. So the only thing that I want to say is that the reason why I'm so quiet in this one or I sound so sad is because I'm very sensitive to all the context and I'm sensitive to the surroundings really. See? So if I s feel that everything is really sad or serious, I also get sad and serious. So sorry for being so quiet. Have a good one. So... Huh, I remember this differently. Oh, okay, there we go. Hey. New home. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There's a note attached. Howdy! I'm in the garden. If you have anything need, uh, you need to get out of your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen in the on the hallway. Hey, there's a heart-shaped locket in the box. Will you take it? Yes. You got the heart-shaped locket. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Also, yes. It's a drawing of a golden flower. It's a family photograph. Everyone is, is, is smiling. There are a lot of strip shirts in here. Yeah. It's a twin side bed. What a comfortable bed. If you lay down here, you might not ever get up. That is a very interesting thing to say in this case. Dusty toys. Yeah, this place is abandoned. The golden flower. Everything here is a golden flower. Room under renovations. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Asgore's journal, all the current pages says it's a nice day today. Nice day today, sorry. The ink is still almost wet. It's a king side bed. <laughs> Literally the king side. Is that for you? There's a Santa Claus of the inside of outfit inside. Also, he's the one who gives uh, gifts to everybody, like Papyrus said. Like yeah, Santa gives us all the gifts. It's a clothes drawer, there are robes, button up shirts, and a pink hand knit sweater that says we said that guy. <laughs> it's a trophy, number one nose nozzle champs in the 98. Macaroni, macaroni art of, uh, of a flower, sorry, for that, for King Dad. <laughs> Despite everything, it's still you. I love how Undertale's dialogues are so... How to say it? Detailed. Astriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. It's a great reading chair, but it doesn't seem like anybody uses Yeah, because it's not from Asgore. These historials. They are photo albums, scrapbooks, books on how to make tea. Over time, Astrid and the human became like siblings. The king and the queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. It's a note. Howdy! Help yourself to, uh, to anything you want. The stove top is very clean. Someone must use magic fire instead. The fridge is full of unopened containers of snails. 
Ah. Uh. It's a trash can. It's full of crumb. Crumb from the first beast for the scotch pie. Ah. Uh. Let's go. There's some white far, white fur stuck in the drain. That is so sad. You lock the chain. There's an old calendar from the end of the 20 something. A daily circle on it. Then, one day, the human became very ill. The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village, but there was nothing we could do. The next day, the next day, the human died. Asriel, cracked with grief, absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. With a human soul, Asriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. Ashil reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Ashil holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Asriel had the power to destroy them all. But Asriel did not fight back. Clutching the human, Asriel smiled and walked away. Asriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and the queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. King decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Gaskar will let us go. King Gaskar will give us hope. King Gaskar will save us all. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Alright. Maybe I'll come back. But first, this. Hey, sons. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of, of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. 
You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's XP? EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough exp EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will, hu you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gain any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you face, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you run away, you do it with a smile. You never gain love, but you gain love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, Moses will remain trapped underground. What would you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? Did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So, as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. Alright. We're all counting, counting on you, kid. Good luck. Thank you, Sans. I will. Throne room. So, before I go in, I want to make uh, something clear. For those who have already played Undertale or seen a, a Let's Play, maybe you know that I'm supposed to go back and do some stuff, you know? And I'm not talking about uh, buying it items for the fight that I'm going to face. But I'm gonna do it do it like if, I, if this was the first time I played this game. Which is right now go against Asgore. And I want to do this, because if somebody hasn't watched or played this game, I wanted to see how Toby Fox managed all this situation. You know why. You know what I'm talking about. And obviously those who hasn't played this game doesn't know what I'm talking about. And for them, I'm doing this. I know I can like finish this game in another way, but I won't do it until later. So, new people who hasn't watched or played Undertale, you'll see. Be patient. There's some stuff that you need to see. And also, I like doing it this way. So, this is not Asgore. One, two, three, four. You can only see four souls here. It's a coffin, there's a name engraved on it. Night. It's empty. Yep. That's where they're going to put me after they kill me. If they kill me. But I'm too determined to die. Hey. Dum -de -dum. Huh? Is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished water watering these flowers. Sure. Here we are. Howdy! How can I... Yeah. Hello, Osgore. Oh. I 
I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But... You know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Person singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. You know what we must do. When you're ready, come into the next room. Sure. So, first of all, I don't have any idea what this does. Oh, and I need to check this. The heart locket. The heart locket. Armor defense 15. 15, sorry. It says best friends forever. And also, we have the worn dagger. Weapon attack 15. Perfect for cutting plants and vines. And I'm gonna get some stuff. BRB. Okay, first of all. I wanna buy this, the mystery key. Yes. Huh? Hey, I've never seen you before. Bah. Today's monsters don't ap appreciate what makes puzzles right. Now these puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Bah. There's no art in that action. And then actually, it's just timing based drivel. Give me something that challenge the deepest reaches of my mind. You! You're young. You've still got hope. <laughs> Here, try solving this block pushing puzzle. What? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong. Ah, forget it. This generation is really hopeless. Ah. 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 Well, ah, to you. Okay, so this is what I wanted to do. It's locked. Item? Mystery key. Info. Mystery key. Y unique. It is too bent to, for to fit in, a in your keychain. So you take this and use it. You use the mystery key. The red house door was unlocked. The key disappeared. Dear diary, Sharon's sister fell down recently. It's sad. Without her sister to speak for her, she's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Blocky, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like the idea. Dear Diary, I like to buy a new diary for every entry I make. <laughs> I love to collect diaries. Dear Diary, our cousin left the farm to become a training dummy. That leaves just Blocky and I. Blocky asked me if I was going to try to become corporal too. They sounded so resigned. Come on, Blocky. You know I'd never leave you behind. And besides, I'd never find the kind of body I'm looking for anyway. My darling diary. I met someone interesting today. Last week I posted an advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork. <laughs> and she's obsessed with these awful cartoons. He's talking about Alphys. But she's kind of funny too. I want to see her again. Dari, my dear. My Dari collection is going fabulously. <laughs> I have like five now. <laughs> dear Dari, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me, a form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Blocky, my dreams can't wait for anyone. So if you haven't catched the, uh, what is happening here, this is a uh, Metaton's place and they were talk he was talking about Alfie's here. And she met her, well, he met her with the human fan uh, club. And then they were started talking and proudly Metaton told her about his dreams. And she was like, yeah, I'm gonna do this. So, yeah, that's how they met. 
This is a really, really nice detail. And I wanted to show it to you. So I was reading because I really didn't know what to do with the drug the residue or residue. But it seems that I can sell it to her. Alright. Uh, it didn't seem like something interesting to <laughs> sell. I wanna get the thousand just for her. <laughs> I'm gonna do that later. Ooh, actually. Can I? Okay. God. So let's. I'm gonna pay you for your college. Yeah, yeah. Whoa! That's a lot of months! Can Tim really accept? Okay! Tim proud to college and make a proud! The, uh, you forgot your face! Uh, wait, ma'am! You forgot your face? Oh! Tim back for college! <laughs> Tim learned many things! Let us sell new items! Yeah, yeah! Okay. Uh, what do you have? <laughs> okay, 20 defense makes battles too easy. But you know what? I don't need the game to be too easy. I wanna enjoy it. You enjoy your college. Alright. It's a throne. It's another throne covered with a white sheet. It's just use of tutorials. <laughs> Oh, dance. <laughs> Just think of it like. Have a seat to the dentist. Sure. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I am not ready either. Alright. Let's do this. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped in underground. If, if by any chance you have some an unfinished business, please do what you must. I'm gonna leave that for later. You'll see why. Let's go. I see. This is it then. Ready? A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You are filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Say, Masgor, nice to meet you too. Goodbye. I understand. Alright. Check. Asgore, 80. Uh, 80 attack and 80 defense. Oh shoot, I forgot about this. This is gonna be tough. Okay. Talk. Quietly tell Asgore you don't want to fight him. His hands tremble for a moment. Oh shoot. I really need to remember how to play this. His reading gets funny for a moment. Ah, shoot, it hit me, okay. You fear him tell Asgore to stop fighting. The collection flashes in his eyes. Asgore attack drop. Asgore defense drop. That's not what I'm looking for, Asgore. Oh, I forgot this, okay. This talking won't do it any more good. It's okay. I'm gonna keep talking. Ah, shit. 
I'm not going to attack you, Asgore. Ah, shoot. Okay. Ah, shoot. Okay. I'm not talking too much. I really want to concentrate this fight. Sure, I overdid it. Okay. this wrong. It's fine. Okay, so I spent like 30 minutes more or less trying to defeat Asgore in a very pacific way, which is not hitting him at all or not attacking. And the curious thing is that I remember that the first time that I played Undertale, I was so stubborn in not attacking Asgore because, I don't know, I just don't want to kill Asgore. And so I remember that I just kept acting and acting and acting, and even if the game said, oh, you need to fight, I just kept acting until Asgore finally became tired and he will say that he could take this anymore and then I will tell him, hey, it's okay, I just wanna stay here or something like that. But it seems that the game changed or I just didn't remember that the first time that I played this, uh, in the end, I, 
I gave up and I started to fight him and obviously I didn't kill him. Or they changed the game to force me to fight against him. I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> I spent too much time trying to be pacific so I had to surrender and finally fight Asgore. So yeah, here's the fight. I'm sorry Asgore, don't worry, I won't kill you. That's not my intention. So be it, Asgore. Okay, this is what I wanted. Okay, now city. And from now on, only attacks. Okay, just move. Oh! What? Okay. Oh, shoot. Okay. funny I remember that I could actually you know beat Has Asgard without fighting but maybe they changed maybe I just don't remember but it's fine Oh, oh, I did it the wrong way. Okay. Hmm. 
I feel something big is coming. Oh, actually. Alright, perfect. Sorry, Asgore. Uh, so, that's, that is... That is how it is. <laughs> I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, of anger I declared war. I said that I will destroy any human that will came here. I will lose their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I will destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hope returned. My wife, however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place never to be seen again. Truthfully, I don't, I don't want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everybody to have hope. But I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Nah, Asgore. I will never. After everything I have done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? I mean, there's probably a reason why I came here, Asgore. Not gonna lie. Human, I, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best as we can. You can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie. We could be like, we could be like a family. Yep. You are a piece of American fruitcake. You idiot! You haven't learned a thing in this world. It's kill or be killed. Freaking flop.